Hey everybody, I just wanted to kind of go over my uh, craft fair that I had in March, almost a month ago now. Um, I did make a profit, but it was only like almost $3, but I made enough to pay for my booth, so that's a plus. I wasn't in the hole. I wish I could have sold more items, but, you know, that's the way it goes. You never know how these... Uh, craft shoes are going to go. I've been to several, so I kind of know how people shop in there, you know, anyway. Uh, but I did learn a couple things. One thing, I guess I should explain my craft a little bit more. I had some, the faux pottery, which I've showed you guys and shown you when I was doing it. I had several people ask me what faux pottery was. So I had to explain it to them, but I should have said I take discarded items and I turn them into pieces of art. That's what I should have said. I don't think, because I was kind of caught off guard from that. I mean, I it's been several years now that I learned what faux was, it, you know, it was like in a fashion world or a redesign you know, designing a house or something. And they would say, this is faux leather. And that's when I realized what they were talking about. It was fake, you know, fake looking leather, fake, <laughs> blah, 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 fake leather. Uh, but I, w when you look at the spelling of faux and how it's pronounced, it is kind of weird to look at. So that might have caught their eye, you know, seeing that word. And then some of them saying the word probably and think of faux pottery, but the pottery's right here, you know. <laughs> so I, I would have uh, put my signage, signage a little better that uh, it would have been more self-explanatory what the pottery was. Uh, another mistake I did I had bought this styrofoam cone, and it was great to put earrings on there. I also had another cone that I had got marked down after Christmas, and it was made out of like that grapevine. So I said, that'd be great to hang earrings on also. Well, I had a cloth tablecloth, and these two items stuck to it. <laughs> When people wanted to look at the, you know, oh, let me see what she made. Uh, or let me look at what's on the other side, because I had earrings all the way around it, but they couldn't access it. So right away I seen people would put it back down. No sale. I didn't really prepare for that either, so I didn't have nothing. I wasn't thinking. I probably could have stuck uh, paper under it, just something that uh, had a barrier between the cloth and that styrofoam. Okay, lesson learned. Uh, and probably the other little thing that I should have done, I knew how to do this, but uh, when you do your table, you should have highs and lows. I should have had the middle up higher because I had stuff all around and I had stuff in the middle. I did have some stuff kind of high, but I should have had a, a bigger buildup in the middle so people could, you know, it was like at eye level that they seen things. And then, you know, if they wanted to see it, we could have got it down or whatever. Um, so I didn't really, you see the pictures of the, my table. It's kind of flat, just a couple, just a couple of highs in there, but mostly flat level. And I should have brought it up a little more. Uh, one good thing was I got to um, use my little square card reader for credit cards, and she worked perfectly. I turned her on, she put her card in, I had one transaction, she put her card in, and it said okay, asked if she wanted a receipt, she said no, I said okay, no receipt, and it put the money in my bank. So it was a very smooth transaction. And so I'm glad for that, that worked. Uh, I'd like to go to another one, 
But like right now, I don't have a lot of inventory, so I got to keep my uh, cost done down. Sorry. And I keep getting a visitor walking behind me, so just kind of ignore. That's Bill. And he's probably being nosy. I'm over here, you know, talking. Who's she talking to about that? <laughs> just myself. <laughs> so that's pretty much about my um, craft fair. Uh, I met some great people. <clears throat> You know, and maybe when I go to other craft fairs, I may see them or, you know. And I met customers. Um, I didn't have any business cards because I wasn't quite sure if I should go to the expense of business cards yet. But my son got them. He's, he purchased them for my birthday, so I should be getting them. But I didn't have any. And I had at least three people ask me if I had a card. Because uh, I would tell them I have an Etsy store. You could go on there. You know, um, they liked a lot of my jewelry pieces. Some lady wanted, um, she wanted earrings, let's say, just with this little bead on there. You know, she just wanted something with just a stone. Because uh, she said she can't, couldn't wear long earrings. Now, I don't know why. She had her hair short. She had a very long neck, I thought. Because, I, you know, mine, my earrings just sat right on my shoulders. Because, you know, getting old, my neck disappeared. <laughs> I don't, just a head on some shoulders here. So, I told her I was local. Because, you know, I told her about my Etsy store. And she said, well... You know, then I got to pay for shipping and stuff. And I said, no, I'm local and, you know, we can meet up and, you know, exchange them. She said, oh, so she got my information. Now, whether they look at my site, um, I do have visitors that go to the site, but, you know, I don't know. Um, I know I will be putting on some uh, jewelry that she would like to see and, um, you know, if she is looking, maybe she'll kind of keep track of when I do put stuff on there uh, to her liking. So we'll see how that goes. But I just wanted to let you know I did have fun. Uh, I got a couple little videos for you to look at and you could see all what I was talking about. But it was a fun day uh, spent well. It's good to kind of get out and, you know, mingle a little bit and kind of get back to normal things, even though I, I still get... A little nervous with that virus out there, you know, because I do not want to catch that. So uh, we did have a lot of precautions in place here. I mean, people kind of stayed away from each other. Uh, we kept our distance. A lot of people might still wore masks. Uh, I didn't put a mask on, but I stayed away from people, even if they came and asked about an item or when they paid me. I still tried to. At least an arm's length. I mean, my arm ain't that long, but at least it's a couple feet, you know. <laughs> so with that, I just wanted to give you a little summary on my uh, craft show. And if I do another one, I'll take you along with me. All right. I'll talk to you later, alligator. Bye. Shh.